How's it going everyone? Exploit here. Welcome back to the channel. All right guys, so finally able to upload the low life build I was talking about. I'm going to be showing you two alternatives, one with the chain blades and then one with a sword. You can change some of the perks around in both of these builds to fit whatever you're trying to do. For example, if you want to do a little bit of weighted strikes in your gloves to be able to use the chain blades to interrupt, you can do that. You can also just go absolutely low life with Iceborne, Rage, and Wild Frenzy with the main focus of staying close to Behemoth and doing as much damage as possible without stopping. Another Inferno's Fangs Chainblade build here guys, we have Hellplate Cask, Boreal Resolve, Volcanic Grips, and Boreal March, as well as Drask Eye for the Lantern. As you can see here, our perks are plus 6 Conduit, plus 6 Iceborne, plus 6 Overpower, plus 6 Rage, plus 6 Rage Hunter, and plus 6 Wild Frenzy. So the perks that become active when you reach low life are Iceborne, as well as Rage, and Wild Frenzy. So these three complement each other nicely. You'll be able to increase your attack speed and damage by 25% with Rage and Wild Frenzy, and Iceborne will make sure that you stay at 50% health. Also guys, with this build, you want to be sure that you take Blitz Tonic, because you will be at 50% health or lower, and Blitz Tonic grants between 10 to 30% increased attack speed based on how much health you are missing for 60 seconds, so most of the time you'll be at that 30% increased attack speed. Next up we have Frenzy Tonic, 15% increased damage dealt for a minute, and also 30% if the Behemoth is enraged. So damage wise guys, you'll have the Frenzy Tonic, 30% when the Behemoth is enraged, and then if you happen to stagger the Behemoth when it's enraged, you'll get 70% from Overpowered, and then remember you have that 25% from Rage, and then 40% from Rage Hunter. And then finally guys, we are using the chain blade, so we're not gonna be able to interrupt without weighted strikes. And we're not trying to have that into our build. We're trying to be up close and personal, do as much damage as quickly as possible. The perfect combination. We are gonna bring a concussive grenade. Concussive grenades not only deal some extra damage, but you can interrupt behemoths with these. All right guys, so this is build one out of two. Let's show you what it can do in Heroic. So we want to activate our tonics once we get past 50% health. So I'm actually trying to get him to hit me to get below 50% or else one third of my perks won't be activated. But he'll hit me eventually. I think. There we go. Okay, so now we're almost at 50%. Yes, we are. Okay, so now everything we can drink our tonics. Make sure that we do not die. But now is when we can do lifesteal. We'll do 8% lifesteal with Iceborne, so really go to town with Blade Spin and everything else. You want to activate your lanterns too. And then just stay close to the Behemoth and keep doing damage. This will just heal you to 50%, and then that's where you'll stay for the majority of fight. <laughs> we barely survived that. All right, he's enraged. The quills now are going to be pretty dangerous. We got to make sure that we don't get hit. We don't want to get hit by those ones. And remember, if you are struggling to get some health, just do blade spins because they will bring the lifesteal up way up to 50% and then you'll stay there. And they just do a lot of damage. There we go, we cut his tail. Now let's go for the head. He'll go and rage. It's okay. We just gotta watch out for those quills as our teammates are dying from them. Just look up. It's pretty easy to avoid them. I haven't been looking up actually. Alright, and then just remember, blade spin will heal you a lot with the life steal. So if you're in a tough situation, don't be afraid to use your flask. And there we go. <laughs> of course he lands on me at the end. But pretty simple. We stayed pretty close to him. Uh, we did have one little mishap in the middle of the fight there. But overall, 
we did slay him pretty quickly in the group. All right, guys, so that is the first build. Let me show you the second one. All right, guys, next up is the twin build to the previous one. However, this one is just 100% focused on damage up close and a little bit less attack speed but more stagger oriented, stagger damage oriented. Now the difference with this build is that we are adding Cunning as well as Knockout King and Energized. Similar to the last build, which I forgot to show you, we are using these two mods on your sword. Adhesive Hilt, which you are not able to be staggered while in your special, and then Valiant Overdrive. Changes in gear are Lightning Helm, which has the Energized perk. We need it to become plus three, obviously. This isn't fully maxed out. I'm just showing you and then also another change is the boreal mic gloves which i also have to upgrade but it's okay i'm just going to show you either way remember we have our concussive grenades guys if we want to do that now while it is staggered we do increase damage so go to town as you saw there with the 2400 hit and now we should be able to stagger him here and then do even more damage and then using our Q, we will do even more damage. As you can see, we are staggering him quite a lot with Knockout King and then doing a lot of damage with our Overpowered. Also take into account guys, we are not at 40 or below 50% health which just means we've been doing that much damage without our main perk, basically. So if you can, I guess, let him hit you. Go into our special again and do a ton of damage. Obviously, this is just a normal patrol. I'm trying to farm orbs, but it just goes to show that this is a great low to mid to even high level build. This is for everybody. Just make sure that you have the right mods. And there we have it. And we level up our mastery, yay! Alright guys, so that is the second uh, low life build. It's actually a lot to play with because you don't really have to worry about much. The life steal from Iceborne will help you stay up and then also Knockout King, Overpowered, Rage, as well as your tonics and your lantern, you just become an absolute beast. All right, guys, so that is the second build. Obviously, I would like to have energized that plus six, overpowered, and rage also plus six, and then level up my weapons and my armor up to hopefully end game, and then maybe make another video update on this build. Maybe switch some things around. Um, it is quite possible that we could get rid of something like energized and put something else instead in here like a rage hunter and that would have been an increase in damage all right guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video and also leave a comment down below what you would change in each build and what you thought of the build overall thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys in the very next video